everyone. This is Steve, and I thought I'd do a quick video here about how I handle screen porches, a topic that came up the other day. And I use railing walls to build my screen porches because it's powerful and easy to change them. And so I thought I'd do an example. Right here is a little house with a screen porch, and this is called Just Screen. And um, I'll show you if you want to change that using panels. I've designed a number of panels, as you can see here. Just take, click on one, click on your screen, boom, changed. Um, you want to have vertical siding, not lap, changed. And you can paint these materials just to change the colors. But I created them with those colors, and then you can edit based on each house. And uh, <clears throat> that's how powerful it is. And you can even just drop a screen door in there. Um, just anywhere you want, put a screen door, there it is. So it's very powerful and uh, very quick. And you can do different designs like here where I put the door. Uh, it kind of screwed up the, the spacing so you can either move the door or if the door goes right here, you might have to break the wall right there and change the spacing of your columns. Whatever. It's pretty powerful, pretty easy. And I thought I'd show you how I do this, how, how you can create this whole thing. Of course, when you get these walls designed, you should save them. Uh, to your library. I've saved some screen panel walls uh, like just screen what we just used. If I wanted to draw a new screen porch um, say right here on the end I just grab that wall come over and I'll have to fix the elevation here but um, you, you get the picture. That's how easy it is. Got to change that to a hip and change this one over here to a hip and there you go. You got a screen porch. It's that fast, that easy. And um, then you can just click on the panel you want and change it. So um, you want something with an arch top? It's that easy. Just ch click and change. So I thought I'd show you how I do these. And it's real simple uh, using polyline solids. So in this case, I have this polyline solid, which is the screen. And I have set it to be an eighth inch thick set it at absolute at the zero elevation right here at the top zero then i got this as my mid rail four inches thick absolute set it to two i usually do like a back clip cross section just to make sure the screen is in the center of the uh, mid rail which it is so this looks good um, when you open it it's basically two polyline solids uh, i have a screen material here in my library that I created a long time ago and um, I'll just spray this panel here with the screen and then I will get my spray can here get my color bone and spray the mid rail now you basically have a screen panel you go up here to tools symbol convert to symbol make sure it's set to millwork and then go through each little thing here. I give it a name, screen panel one, say, just to get it into your library. You have to rotate this panel on the X axis to stand it up straight. So click X, click rotate. There it is. Might want to generate a 2D block, although it's already done. Railing fence. I'm not sure what that's for. Someone smarter than me will have to figure that out. Materials are set, sizing. I usually just put a stretch plane right here about 80 inches so it's up here and it won't change the height of your mid rail. Click OK, goes in your library and there's your screen panel one. We can go over to our overview here and just click and there it is. Drops it right in for you and it's that simple. And uh, once you have that, so you got it here. Let's get rid of this camera view for now. If you want to put an arch top up here, I would just uh, copy this, drag it up, drag this down to say maybe 10 inches, click here on the bottom and click arc, drag it up till maybe six inches. And then to make this bottom arch real smooth, you'll want to hit over here, convert, curve to polyline and then put in maybe 18 here 
and you'll get a nice smooth arch. Now if we look at that, you've got a panel with an arch. So again, tools, symbol, convert to symbol, millwork, screen panel two, uh, rotate on its x-axis, uh, 2D block, you don't even need to do it, it's automatic really. Railing fence panel, sizing, 80 inches, click OK. So we got screen panel two, we go to our overview, click, there it is. Screen panel two. And if you want to drop a screen door in there, you just, there you go, screen door. Very fast, powerful. I mean, I can move the store wherever I want. It adjusts automatically because it's a wall and it's a door. So it just cuts the wall and drops the door in. So uh, I hope that was helpful. It's a very powerful way to do a screen porch. It's very easy to uh, edit these designs. You can add whatever you want. You can have different parts and pieces to make different kinds of uh, screen porch panels save them each time and you can build this library up very fast. So I hope, I hope that was helpful. Have a good day guys. Bye.